Welcome, everyone, to another episode of Slasher Scotty. I am your host, Scotty McCoy, and boy, do I have a surprise for all of you. I have on Zoom with me right now Gary Clayton, and he played the young Michael Myers in a deleted scene of Halloween Resurrection. Hey, Gary, how are you doing? I'm doing great, man. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm so glad to have you on. Um, I guess the first question I have for you is how did you get your start into acting? Well, um, I was in a casting office um, where my mom was doing some work. She was, uh, she had, um, you know, uh, was a part of the film business, had doubled for Jamie Lee Curtis for some time and was working on uh, one of the Halloween movies. And I was in the casting office and they saw me and they're like, wow, he looks similar to the kid from the original. So um, yeah, we could, uh, we could use him as a uh, young Michael Myers in Halloween Resurrection. Nice. And they asked me if I would be interested. They, I guess, asked my mom if she would be interested and everyone was on board. So um, I proceeded with that. That's awesome. Uh, so I guess for those unaware, because obviously your scene in Halloween was, a, it was a deleted scene. So can you describe the scene uh, where you played young Michael Myers? Oh, the scene. It was basically, um, you can find it on YouTube. There's like four, three or four different versions of it. It's also on my Instagram at Gary J. Clayton. Okay. Um, and uh, um, what it is, is it's in a backyard. It's like a barbecue type thing, you know, family gathering. And I keep shrugging off the camera going like, hey, go away from me, go away from me, go away from me. They're like, come on, Michael, come on. They push the camera into my face and I turn around and look into the camera and of course the music plays and uh yeah it goes into the film it's the it was the uh, original opening to um Halloween Resurrection okay and why did they decide to get rid of that do you have the answer to that I do a lot of uh things with that film the film had some problems with the filmmaking of it and so a lot of the scenes that were shot they ended up turning around and going like we can't use like half of this film. So they cut half of the film and my scene was one of the things that got left on the cutting room floor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a shame because it seems like it would have been inter like interesting to see where that story arc would have, you know, would have went. I think that would have kind of been better actually than what we originally got too. Cause uh, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't mind Halloween resurrection. It's just that I think that they could have, they should have done a little bit better with it. I think like, you know, even if they ended at H2O, even with, you know, killing Michael Myers, and then they always retcon that. But um, I also think, you know, seeing where Michael's backstory would have went, you know, because obviously he has that that personality, I guess, disorder. Like, he doesn't like to be, you know, he doesn't talk at this point. So, like, it would have been nice to see where he would have went as a young as a young kid. And seeing that flashback could have really elevated the character to a whole new level. Right, totally. Yeah, the thing about Michael Myers is he's born without a soul is what I always right. heard. Yeah. Yes, yep, absolutely. So um, have you seen um, any of the previous Halloween films prior to accepting the role? Uh, probably not. I was six when I did that okay. part. So it's probably a little bit too young for that stuff. But. Possibly. I, I started, I just started getting in, in horror films at six years old myself. I was probably, you know, I was, I just started with Friday the 13th, but, uh, that's why I kind of figured I would ask, um, but have you seen, um, all of the films since? Since then, um, you know, I love horror, especially when I was younger, and I've seen a lot of horror films. Halloween hasn't always been my favorite thing, um, yeah. but I have seen um, some of the movies. I might have seen all of them. I can't really remember, but I actually have a whole box of either all of them or pretty much all of them. But uh, yeah, I mean, I've uh, recently seen the most recent one, and on Halloween, I'm really looking forward to checking out the new one. My yeah. favorite this is like a, a side note. My favorite uh, Halloween film has always been um, Halloween Two by Rob Zombie. Nice. I thought it was really cool with the like surrealistic, abstract imagery he used, as he does in a lot of his films and music. Yeah, yeah. absolutely, absolutely. Um, so. I, we all know that you were a child actor. Obviously, you, you you know were in Halloween Resurrection at six years old, as you mentioned. Um, so, what were the were there any challenges of being a child actor, and what were they? Um, you know, I don't really I don't really remember any any sort of challenges. I decided to leave the business when I was six because I was like, yeah. you know, I just want to be a normal kid and 
then I, you know, did a little bit here, there. I played a part in Everybody Hates Chris, Christmas with the Cranks, did some theater, did some musical theater. And when I was 15 years old, I decided I wanted to get back into the business as far as being an actor goes and pursue that as a career. And, you know, I was passionate about it. It was, um, you know, what, what I chose to do. So I, uh, at 15, started getting serious about acting and doing, you know, a lot of musical theater and different stuff. And uh, prior to that, though, I was still in the business. I uh, started filmmaking when I was 13 years old. Nice, nice. That's awesome. And uh, you still act now? I do. I do. I actually just went out on an audition uh, the other day for something. <laughs> Uh, nice that's awesome well good luck on that hopefully you get you know some of the parts that you had auditioned for that'll be awesome that'd Thank be you. awesome of course so um let me see so i guess um let me see so i guess what like i have one more question for you um so do you have any other projects in the works outside of what you auditioned for and any social media accounts um or anything else that you would like to promote to the listening and viewing audience uh, yeah, let me see. Uh, as far as social media goes, you can check me out on Instagram at Gary J. Clayton. Okay. You can uh, also check me out on my YouTube channel at Gary J. Clayton again. Um, I'd say add me as a friend on Facebook, but I'm at my limits. TikTok, you could check me out. I believe it's uh, Gary J. Clayton 3. And um, yeah, that would that would be also my SoundCloud, uh, Gary J. Clayton. I have my debut single out. As far as other uh, projects go, the same guy who I made my debut single with, we were just working the other day on a new song that I wrote with a Grammy Award winning uh, drummer uh, by the name of Mikey Martin nice. and uh, from this band Shiny Toy Guns. And so um, we're going to be, you know, possibly hitting the studio and recording that in the near future other than that you know i've had i've been offered tons of films to do over the past year um and then last year but you know sometimes things things fall through they don't work out the way that, that you would think they might work out so um other than that as far as acting goes i'm just uh staying on that grind and nice. seeing uh seeing what happens next Awesome. Well, that sounds good. And I'll make sure to follow you. I know I'm following you on Instagram. That's how we've been communicating. Um, yeah. we, we might even be friends on Facebook. I don't know, because I know I um, added a lot of people um, from the industry uh, for years now, and you might have been one of them. I don't have to look. But uh, yeah. uh, I mean, I'll add you on everything else as well that I don't, that I don't follow you on. Um, but I do thank you, Gary, for uh, joining me. Um, it really is an honor. And I'm glad to have you this month, especially with it being Halloween month, you know. October, Halloween's so. going to be thick. I'm looking forward to it. Absolutely. And I'm looking forward to Halloween Kills. I'm sure you are as well, right? Oh, yeah, totally, totally. I'm going to uh, be watching it Halloween night when I get back from the party. Oh, nice. This sounds like fun. Yeah, I'm, I'm go I just got my tickets opening night. I'm going to uh, the theater and I got the theater has like there was a lounge chairs as a massager built into it. I'm going to be freaking loving it. I can't wait for it to come out. That sounds awesome. Yeah, one more question, actually, that I just thought of, actually. Um, so do you plan, on, like, if they were to ask you to say to come for Halloween Kill, uh, Halloween Ends, or to be in another Halloween movie, would you do it? Oh, yeah, totally. I'm grateful as it is to have been a part of the franchise and to, you know, been invited to a couple different or a few different events. You know, I got in, I invited to um, the Halloween 40th anniversary, which I did. I couldn't make one of the other signings and i went to one of their parties actually i worked at the production company trankus as an intern when i was 16 years old but yeah if they had another movie and they wanted to give me a pardon and i'd be very grateful and happy to do it that'd be awesome i would love to see you in another in like a halloween movie that would be that'd be so cool actually um but i do thank you gary for joining me um uh, I know it's been short. <laughs> Usually my interviews are short. I like to, I like to keep them short and have uh, everybody, you know, I want people, I don't want, I, people's intention spans aren't that big. And I listen to some interviews and I don't like the interviews that are, you know, an hour and a half, two hours long. Um, I like sure. to kind of keep them shorter, but uh, I do sure. thank you uh, so much for joining me. Um, you have a great rest of your day. You too, bro. You too. All right. Yeah. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay.